Hello, hello, and welcome to Love and Pretend. I've honestly been waiting for this game to come out and be playable for me on stream for a very long time. <laughs> this game was made for me. It was made for me. It is a cutesy, fluffy rom-com. My genre. I am the CEO of fluffy rom-com. And now, finally, I get to share it with everybody. Excellent. He's a good boy. I didn't think he'd be my guy, but he's a good boy. Also, he's hot. <laughs> uh, I am a sucker for using the default name in Ultimate Games. I don't like using... I don't like using my name because it feels weird, you know? Because I, I, I like to imagine her as her own character and me, like, astral projecting myself onto her feels weird to me. But if we want, we can change the name. Does anyone have a, a, a particularly strong feeling about name changes here? Uh, default name? Okay, it seems we're all on the same page. We like the default name. We love the default name. Let's do it. Everyone pretends to be somebody they're not. I don't. I'm 100% authentic all the time, especially on stream. That's a guarantee. <laughs> oh my god, it's two people doing that. That's cool. We beat the game! GG's, GG's. I hope everyone enjoyed- wait, what? What was that? I hope everyone enjoyed Lover Pretend. Uh, you can purchase it actually at our store using the code Reef. Wish you a merry X. What? Seeing the credits trail off, I hit the pause button on the remote. Director, cast, set designer, and composer. Row after row was filled with names that represented the best in the industry to this very day. Screenplay by Kanako Ihara. Wow, I want to sneeze. Let's try and push that down like all of my other feelings. A newbie screenwriter who pinned her hopes and dreams on this one title and then vanished from the industry without a trace. Also, our mother. What is true love anyway? I wouldn't know. If I knew, then I'd be closer to mum. I was sure of it, and yet. The protagonist, yeah, I, I understand what the what you, um, you a mother is. You so, yeah. This is just my impression from skimming it, but... Look at this dude. It's kind of cute. Yeah. Not really my type. Our school. Oh my god, here we go with another pronunciation. Koyo University, specialized in literature and the liberal arts. Uh, I, st I stood in one of its research rooms. This belongs to... Pro uh, oh god. Eichiro... Eichiro Asagi? Eichiro Asagi. Seeing me vexed, he gave me a bitter smile. Okay, without the glasses, he just went up another two points. The tempo of the casual conversation is nice. In fact, I think it's rather well written. Problem is, the romance scenes, right? I've been painfully aware of the flaws that he was pointing out long before I turned into the script. I know that, I just can't seem to make it sound right. I even did research by consuming a bunch of romance novels and movies. Yes, I can tell you worked hard on this. You've done well writing in the theatre, mystery, and suspense genres. Also, my nose is about to explode. Okay, so we're, we're like talented. We've worked hard. We're good at screenwriting, just not romance. You know, everyone has the Achilles heel. For example, I'd like to think I'm good at video games. And then they hit me with a puzzle. And I'm like... You're a wiki fellow! I'm not scolding you. All screenwriters have their own strengths and weaknesses. However, I always had the impression that women were more attuned to romance than men. You surprised me a little. That's that's why you don't assume because you make an ass out of you, me, and the player. These days, people would probably call me out for- That's right! That's right, he's two steps ahead! Last year, he wrote a film script that was nominated for a Japanese Academy Award, whilst also juggling a nation na na nationwide TV series. I couldn't thank him enough for going out of his way to personally review my work after lectures too. We chatted a bit more, and then I realised it was already evening. I need to get going. Bye, Professor. I made a mad dash from campus to the train station, 
dipping into the cafe where I was supposed to meet someone. I paused when I saw that he had already taken a seat. He is the boy! I love this guy. This guy's great. <laughs> My friend, Kazuma Kamiku Kam Ka uh, Kamikubo? Kamikubo. 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 For a second, I mischievously wondered if I should just leave him hanging and go home. That's evil. If you go to meet with a friend, literally go in the same building. And then for a bit, just leave. Actually, now that I say it, that's kind of funny. <laughs> As Kaz Kazuma glanced around uncomfortably. Oh god, we're on auto. How do I stop? I don't know. Oh god. Why? No, 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 no! Stop! How do I go back? Oh no. No, 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 no. How do I go back? No, no, don't scare! I'm losing my mind! Stop talking! Okay, we got it. We got it. Don't worry about it. As Kazuma glanced around uncomfortably, I piped up from directly behind him. Excuse me, sir? We're very busy right now. If you're sitting here alone, would you mind sitting with another customer? But, what? No, I didn't, I didn't come here by myself. My friend's on the way here, really. I swear it's true, it's just... Kazuma was completely dumbfounded. He looked at me, and then his phone, and then back to me. When he spoke, uh, when he spoke next, his voice quivered. How long have you been standing there? He's voiced by the same guy as Alan. He does not sound it. Because Alan, Alan's always like, oh, I'm so depressed and it's sad because of the, 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 the spirits in the world and the fate and things. And this guy's just shouting at me and I like it. I'd known Kazma ever since junior high when his family moved into my neighborhood. Back then I was a bit of an outcast and he was the one who approached me. At first, his energy spooked me a little, but by the time that we got to high school, we were inseparable. My last part-time gig started in February. Who would have thought I'd get promoted so soon? Well, I finally got my first real deal paycheck as a, uh, a full-timer. Today's meal is on me. But shouldn't you send your fam uh, family that money since they're the ones who've been supporting you all this time? <laughs> no. I poured over the menu intensely. Whoa, hey, look at this. A dessert plate garnished with an eye-catching array of melon slices and other vibrantly colored fruits. Wait, it's only for couples? Yeah, it's only 200 yen more than the single portion, but you get twice as much. And look, the fruit is cut into hearts and stars. We gotta order. I love that we are not in a, we are not in a relationship with this guy. And he is just like, look, the fruit is cut into hearts. That's sick. We gotta order it. Wait, Kazuma, read the description right here. Guests must prove that they are a couple in front of a staff member. You see that? Hmm. Yeah, we got this. <laughs> he is down to run a bit, and I love this guy for it. Honestly, I'd do th I'd do this in real life. I'd do this with someone just to lie. <laughs> you so very rarely get to lie without like any stakes whatsoever. It's inviting you to lie. I don't want to lie to another person I care about. But if lying is the only gate between me and a specialty item on a restaurant menu, you can bet I'm going to lie every time. That's suspicious. We know each other really well. Our likes, dislikes, hobbies, dreams. Okay, so... So that's more than enough to pretend we're a couple. Wait, that's, that's not the problem. Don't sweat it. Excuse me, we like to order. I glared at my best friend while he placed uh, he placed our order with a big old smile. I love this guy. So we'll have this dessert place right dessert plate right here. The couple's dessert plate. Very well. There's no way that I would be a server and I would see these two and I would be like, I right, hold up, I'm not buying it. <laughs> We're gonna have an interview right now. We're gonna figure this out. <laughs> I'm not gonna sleep tonight until I figure out if you two are actually a couple. To prove that you two are a couple, is it alright if I uh, ask you a few questions? Dozo, dozo. Go for it! Kazma flashed a cocky grin. Meanwhile, I was too flustered to say anything. So, this is the uh, unique gameplay thing for this game. Uh, this is basically a series of uh, responses that you give to try and convince someone of something. Essentially an acting minigame. So, miss, did you, uh, why did you agree to go out with him? I'm gonna say I didn't have a choice. He's 
Oh my god, we've turned him into a, a, a psycho guy. He said he'd kill me if I didn't go out with him, so I didn't have a choice. <laughs> I see. I suppose your boyfriend has a bit of a possessive streak. Kazuma looking like daggers at me. <laughs> Look at his face! <laughs> Look at his face, he's so mad. Have you two kissed recently? What? Even Kazma's motor mouth ground to a halt after that. You're being awfully aggressive with the questions, lady. It's merely our cafe's policy. This girl wrote the policy. We we can all agree on that, right? She is into this line of questioning. She wrote this policy. He seems already embarrassed. So let's just let's just run it. Let's just go for it. Just earlier. We have, just earlier, when we met up. Majika. For real? You were supposed to be there! Don't act surprised! Despite our best efforts, it seems... Oh my god, there's more to this test! Finally, I'd like you to stare into each other's eyes for seven seconds. As lovingly as you can. Say each other's names. That's not a rule! She's making it up now! Kazuma cheerfully stared into my eyes, so I had to respond in kind. Seven, six... I'd seen his face every day in, uh, until high school, and yet... Five, four. During our short time apart, he'd grown so mature. Hold up. Am I imagining things? Or is he? I think his face might be turning a little red. One. Let's hear it again for the people in the back. We are speed running this love business. How will you answer? I mean, you gotta commit. He is a love interest. And apparently, not a difficult one. You gotta commit. You gotta commit. Casper's mouth just flapped open and closed as if he couldn't believe what was happening. Your boyfriend's a red. Thank you for the shot. See, she's... This, this lady just should not be in this job. <laughs> of course I'm embarrassed. She never says stuff like that. I never... Yes, I do. If we really want this dessert. Oh, look at that. Look at his face! That's a boyfriend face right there! You telling me otherwise? Well, let's just say you both barely passed for a couple. Jesus, the attitude! I was close. Thanks, lady. This is fine, I guess. <laughs> Come on! That was bad. That was. I would have convinced me. I. I'm really into this game, uh, and from what it seems like, it seems like uh, everybody else agrees with me. I've seen a hell of people on Twitter saying DSO stuff about this game. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know. I think so. I think I'll be back tomorrow with more Love of Pretend. Yeah, well, sure. Why not? <laughs> also, I'll give everyone a million dollars. If I'm promising stuff that I can't confirm, might as well go big. Oh, right. oh, oh Jesus Christ! I heard that. Don't bankrupt us, Toby. <laughs> and I will now leave. Bye bye. Five million dollars. Everyone gets a million. You get no, a car. No. And you get a car. No. And you.